In the 19th century, the entire French and European wine industry was almost wiped out by an American root louse called phylloxera. At the time, no one knew what it was or how to stop it. It took the collaboration of Missouri State entomologist Charles Valentine Riley and Montpellier's Dr. Emile Planchon to figure out the culprit was a louse that fed on grapevine roots. The bug called phylloxera was native to the United States, so American vines were resistant to it. European Vitus vinifera vines were not resistant to it. The bug had hitched a ride to Europe on some American vines that had been shipped across and spread like wildfire for decades. Riley figured out phylloxera's very complicated life cycle. He also figured out it was the same bug that lived on the leaves of American vines but did not kill them. This all happened as Louis Pasteur was developing his germ theory. He realized that microorganisms like bacteria caused disease. Bacteria didn't attack already weakened individuals. Many people, though, thought the phylloxera bugs were attacking sick or weak grapevines. They didn't believe the bugs were causing the problem. The argument wasted seven years and many more vineyards died. French viticulturalists fought phylloxera with everything they could think of. They prayed, they burned incense over the vines, they injected chemicals into the soil, they doused the vines with infusions of herbs, tobacco, goat urine, garlic, and shrimp. Nothing worked. What did work was an idea promoted by Thomas Volney Munson to graft the European vines onto American rootstock. Another strategy was to create hybrids of American and European grapevines, a solution championed by Herman Yeager of Neosho, Missouri. His Jaeger No. 70 was a female progenitor of many of the French-American hybrids still grown today. These grapes, such as Sable Blanc, Vidal, Chamberson, are the mainstay of many Midwestern vineyards today. But about 98% of the grapes around the world are Vitus vinifera grafted onto American rootstock. Many were originally Midwestern varietals that Munson identified in the 19th century. The third strategy to fight phylloxera was to make wine directly from the American grapes. This was not a solution the French were comfortable with. Making wine from America's native grapes is what we're doing here at Terra Vox. We're developing the vine making techniques that draw out their best qualities. Few have tried this. We have grapes up here that no one else is growing commercially or making wines from, such as Hidalgo, Cloeta, Potumka. That uh, is what Terra Vox is all about.